All right, everyone. So we just had a car meet and I thought, you know, I already hit 2000 kilometers. So it's time to do some uh, coding modifications. So we just got the uh, Beamer code app set up. So we have an OBD to ethernet and ethernet to the Apple lightning uh, port cable. So we're just gonna go through each of the settings. So let's go to the first thing, active sound design. So that's if you wanna deactivate it, I think I'll keep it, so that's fine. Um, advanced, I don't think I wanna mess with that. <laughs> Let's just see what are the options. That's for the seatbelt so you don't make it chime. Oh yeah, we'll keep that, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll go back. Oh, do I have to set up a backup or? No, you don't have to, it automatically backs up. Oh, okay. Air conditioning, display, color change. Yeah, that's fine. Amplifier. Put it possible. Camera base, I don't think I have any driver assistance. Road edge warning. Yeah, that's, I've never seen that before. Oh, that's like the speed limit. That's cool. Yeah. What are the options? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you can actually. So if you didn't have the the sport transmission, you can yeah. get the sport. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Front end module. So the fan has a lot. Ambient lighting brightness. Ambient lighting. Angel eyes brightness low beam. Unactive. Ah, I guess I'll keep that. Because I don't want it to like burn out, right? Yeah. Shut off iDrive, no. Auto start stop, that's fine. Brake force display, that's fine. Convenient opening, yeah, you need that. <laughs> Convenient opening, yeah, that's fine. Daytime running light mode, also, yeah, that's fine. Horn signal, yeah. Yeah. Headlight washer, we don't have. Water injection, yeah, that's fine. Do you have that on your car? No, oh. mine doesn't have the water cleaning. Go down. Yeah. Cornering lights. Yeah, you need the adaptive lights for that. Mm -hmm. All right, mirrors. Yeah, so this is the one that you were saying you wanted to get, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we can add that now. Mm -hmm. Just check the rest first. Yeah. So you, so you, can, you, don't have the so you can paddles, you can actually code them in. So oh, and then even this, you can control the exact like degrees Celsius. Yeah, That's pretty cool. The, yeah, for each seat. It's pretty okay. Cool. Turn signals. Oh, yeah. Turn signals flashing on lock. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Welcome late. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Window cleaning. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's so it's just so the only one is the. Wait, is that in here or? Huh? What wasn't there like another setting for it, like the mirrors, or was no, it in it's here? No, like in here. The front oh, okay. Of the module. So, so right it's there. Right here. So I go active. Uh, I gotta put on the seatbelt so the car doesn't shut off. Oh yeah. That's a must. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> Turn off the headlights in case your battery dies, which it won't because it's a brand yeah. new car. But I always like active. to take every precaution. So you go to active, you go back. Now this goes, you can now tap it. So what uh, about like all the stuff? Everything else is the same, but just all, now it's only going to code oh. this. That's it, yeah. Okay, so so you, so you the idea is you would do each one and then you'd press code at the end? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or you could do it individually, which doesn't matter. Oh, but, it just it takes yeah. longer, right? Okay. Yeah. So code. So it shows the important notice, um, pretty much recommending that you connect it to a battery. But yeah. honestly, like even with my car, which is not a new car, I've never had an issue with the battery yeah. dying, even when tuning, which takes longer. Yeah, it's because these cars, they have like the um, regenerative braking, right? Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Your, your car is yeah, too, yeah, right? Yeah, so I think it's more of like the E series BMWs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we can press it. It also says that obviously don't disconnect it while yeah. flashing, obviously. It, the flash process is very quick anyway, so uh, there shouldn't be any issues. Yeah. If your car supports Apple CarPlay, please disable in iOS settings. I don't have CarPlay enabled, so you're good. Yeah. Airplane mode, Bluetooth is off. Yeah. Start coding. See how fast that was? 
Sorry, <laughs> Lighting normal. system malfunction. <laughs> that's normal. It resets. Right, high beam. <laughs> 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 yeah, look at this. It's tricky, all man. these codes. It's trippy. There you go. Yeah, it'll go away. Don't worry. Yeah. What's this? Unfold mirrors with convenient opening. Yeah, you want all that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now I'll go back to the next. So front light, electronic left. So I'm guessing that left and right are the same. But let's see. Oh, you can make it full bright. Nah, I want to keep it. Because yeah. you don't want those to burn out. Yeah, it's the same, same thing. thing yeah. Head unit. <laughs> So I think we saw something in here. Morning chime. Start screen animation, yeah. Yeah, so let's change that. Wait, what's what start animation and start screen animation? Animation versus a welcome screen. Oh, so you put animation and then you set it. Yeah, that okay. makes sense. That makes sense. Let's try uh M variant one. I think from what I searched online, that's like the one where it's like it just shows M. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So about that. Tire pressure control. Yeah, we are. We already checked. There's nothing you can do there. Yeah, and then we can change the sport display color, but we're leaving it like that. And then the most important feature is video in motion. So we'll do that. Active. I assume you also want to do the video via USB? Or? Yeah, we'll yeah. just keep it. So then, so how does that work? So it'll just open the video file from, from the, the USB? USB drive, oh, yeah. okay. And then do you want to support the additional video yeah. playbacks? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that, you probably kind of need that, right? For like video? Well, yeah, it depends on what it, yeah. um, video codecs they support yeah. off the box. I'm not too sure what, which ones they support, but... Warning at startup. Yeah, we'll keep that. I think everything else is fine, so we can code that. Yeah. Right, see how the iDrive system resets? Oh yeah, see the M. No, that Yo. never came up before, right? <laughs> That's sick. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. Yeah, like, when I searched up online, like notion. that was the one that actually looks so nice. All right, so now the video most. So so works. so now it's showing the warning. Before it never used to show warning. I don't know. Before it used to, so maybe we have to disable it in here. So there's still activate. one more step for the oh, video motion, okay. so yeah. we're going to do the activation now. Okay. So please wait a moment until the main menu is thing. Okay, so continue. Continue, is ready? No, I think you press continue, right? Wait. That's the main menu, right? Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, so continue. Please push the iDrive controller in your car forward and keep holding in this position until the pass completed. Menu yeah, so we're gonna again. press yes. Okay, so now it's good. Done. So how would I know if that worked? Uh, you would just have to test it out, I guess. So in here, nothing is different. Yeah, nothing should be different. It's it just that whenever you start playing a video and you start driving, it won't just shut uh, up. Uh, oh no wait, really but then how do I get the video to play there? Where? Is that not what video, mo video in motion is? No, video in motion means you can't be in motion while watching the because you oh. could originally do it before even coding this no like i mean i used to watch videos all uh, but i used to watch videos like thing and then i sh like I, I can continue watching it while usually. driving yeah Are you sure yeah that's weird i don't know it's not supposed to do that just yeah. start the car and then yeah it should be fine yeah. okay so what else um, can we do instrument cluster yeah so empty menu item Digital speed, yeah, that's fine. You make it start in eco mode, but you know who's gonna do that? What's the sport mode thing? Um, driving mode. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for the yeah, cars that, that don't, don't have sport yeah. plus. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think there's much you can do there. Yeah. PDC, review camera. Yeah, that's fine. Roof function center. Oh, yeah. There. Oh, the next thing I'm gonna do is like opening and closing the windows. I think that's oh, like, yeah. 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 
seat module driver. Oh yeah, easy entry exit, I need that. What's that? Easy entry oh, exit, so it'll easy. move it back and forth. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, my, yeah, so you want it? yeah my old okay. car, I coded that that's in my sick, Volkswagen. Uh, so 60 millimeters. Oh, that's cool. You could even like change the. That's so cool. Uh, we'll keep it at. Keep it at default. Yeah, we'll keep it at 60. Entry protection error. Seat heating, memory. Yeah, we want it to be memory. Yeah, that's sick. Okay, okay so, so code. They'll code this in. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty sick. It is. Easy entry protection area. Oh, so that's like the the limit. So it'll like always, like it'll always be like 100 millimeters back, just mm -hmm. in case there's something behind. That's sick. Yeah, on the Volkswagen you can only do it, but then you can't control how much it is. That's sick. There you go. Okay. Seating module, passenger. Seating module, passenger. I don't think there's much you can. Oh. Same thing. Yeah, yeah but uh, this doesn't have uh, memory, so what's the point? The, yeah, they yeah, don't need to do that. And that's it. That's everything. So. So what about the key? Like, if I want to open and close the mirrors. Uh, we already did that. Remember. It was Where? part of the front electronic module. No, so that's folding the mirrors. Yeah. But say if I want to open and close the the windows from outside. Uh, that should come default with your car. You just have to hold the lock button. Oh, it even closes too? Yeah. Oh, because yeah. I thought, cause that, like on the old BMWs, it's like you couldn't close it, but you can open it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, no, so you can, you can even with my car, you can do that too. Oh, okay. So then I, yeah. I probably have it. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you could even, it's cool. You could even see like um, the eye level that you're at so you're at what's eye level uh so it's like the the version of every single oh PC like eye drive system okay yeah so the eye yeah. step basically oh. yeah same thing so that's the 2020 and it's november of 2020 version oh shit and it shows like what it was at delivery what your last one is and what your current value is wow that's pretty so cool so it's cool because mine uh mine was at 2013 and i forgot exactly what month but yeah. now it's at 2020 um i think april or something i forgot oh but shit yeah, it's cool how it shows all this info. Um, and then that's all the VIN related yeah, it shows stuff. Series, paint code, which is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, it shows a lot of cool stuff. And then basically everything that's uh, all the options. So I guess for that code, all we have to do is just start the car over again, right? Yeah, that should honestly fix. So it. what else is like, what else can you do on this app? Like, is there any like live da tracking data? Or uh, no, that's honestly pretty much it. Um, it. It's pretty much strictly just a coding app. Um, yeah. They have another app called Beamerlink. Oh and yeah. From there, you could see more live data. Yeah, yeah. Uh, including like like your speed, RPM, a bunch of other values. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this is just strictly coding. It's cool because you could even use a bunch of different uh, adapters. Oh, like right yeah, now, I'm yeah. just using the Ethernet cable. Yeah. But you could even do um, the wireless adapters, so you don't have to always keep it. Yeah, yeah. Or plug in. it and plug it back in. Yeah. You could just keep it always plugged yeah. in, which is pretty cool. Uh, and they do obviously do a bunch of different uh, okay. types. Sick, sick. So then, I always see like on Instagram, you know, like on uh, Pro Tuning Freaks, like they have, uh, they do coding as well, right? Like they do boot mod, mm -hmm. and they do coding, and then they're able to show video here, because that's what I thought video in motion was. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. But yeah. Maybe not... you should look into that. Yeah. That's probably our next that. thing. I never heard that, but yeah. But yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned.